Hello there, so this is uh, the first video of playlist and understand how to use sanity calculator KCFX and on EX classes. So today I'll be talking about uh, how do we do basic calculations. Basically I'll be explaining every application uh, you know one by one. We have various apps in Nanon EX class and uh, I'll be explaining every app one by one. So this is the first video. So I'll be ex explaining the first app that is Calculate. This is where you do all your basic calculations. Okay, so starting from a basic instance like 2.3 raised to the power 7. If you would like to do this calculation or you would like to do little difficult calculation like what is the value of cos of 45 degree. Okay. So you see the value of cos of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. If you would like to put it into decimal, you would press this button S D and it will convert into decimal. But uh, you might want to input uh, the value in 18 as well. Like you wanted to find out what is, what is the value of cos of 5 over 2. You can see at the top of the calculator it says T. So the currently the input is into degree. You can go to setup by pushing shift and menu. And there you can change your angle. So I'll push number two to go to angle unit and I'll still stay two. Now you can see the end. So at this point of time, if you say sine of 45, you know, this would not be you know root two by two. But so this time we'll have to use sine of pi over two. So I'll say sine of pi is the button here. I'll use it using shift divided by two and sine of pi over 2 is 1 or any other function so you must also be very familiar about what is there in setup and what is the current settings let's go into setup once again let's see what all is there so you can change the input and output that is a little technical in nature let us not touch upon that maybe i'll make a explicit make an explicit video for that angle unit number format yeah number format as well you want to fix your decimal or you want to put it in scientific Formation or in normal person, okay. And uh, let us go in there once again. Then you have engineering symbol, you have more options there. You have fraction results, so you want to add a fraction a, b, or big c, or d by c, mixed fraction, or proper fraction. What, how do you want this to be? So, for that, you would be using that, okay. Let's go in again there. Then you spreadsheet equation function and some other uh, settings as well. Mm, so while we do all programmatical calculation here, we do all uh, calculus as well. So you have two functions here on the main keys, integration and differentiation derivatives. So let's say we'll do one integration here. We, we can uh, do an integration, let's say sine of x times x. Okay, and you would like to integrate it from uh, 0 to 1, let's say, just for instance, it equals and it gives you the value of integration. So you do it again here. And then uh, please use this button of OPTN. This has a lot of many functions. So if you hit OPTN, you can see hyperbolic function because you have sine cos in here and sine inverse cos inverse sine inverse. If you would like to use hyperbolic function, you'll have to push number 1 and then you get all the hyperbolic and hyperbolic inverse as well okay so let's check it out once again you have angle unit as well you have angular ensembles so please use opt and uh, as often as possible so that you get used to it some other thing as well you can do it here so let's say you would like to say okay let me get rid of this i don't need it so two time x plus 1 equals to 9 I take oops I'm sorry 2 times x plus 1 I'll take this equals to is basically execute so I'll take this equals to here along with alpha 3 and I would like to find out the value of x here okay so I'll say solve I'll say shift and calc and it is solve for me okay so the value of x is 
one. Alright, you can use calc as well. There is some other function calc. So if I say five x square minus one, right, and I would like to find out the value of this expression when the value of x is just for example, it's a three. Here it equals to and it gives the value of five x square minus one. So three square is nine nine times five is forty five minus one is forty four. So you do those calculations as well there. And uh, if you would like to know more about uh, how to use this, you can use QR code function there. So when you are here, hit shift and option to create a QR code of this. Just double click on it, it will take you to a page. Okay, it's taking to a page where it talks about basic calculation, how do you do basic calculation like percentage calculation, degree minute second calculation, multi statement calculation, engineering problems, you have some constant number there, prime factorization, and how do you do prime factorization? and let me just show you. Oops. Oops. So, you can say factor is double in there and you can get the prime factorization as well. So just for instance, if you would like to find out prime factorization of 245, you would hit shift and the let it be weird. Oops. What happened to you, my friend? So two, four, two, and I'll push shift and I'll say factor. No, not. not doing like that so when it does not do like that you can always go right so pipe it and this and then you need to push so it should work like that so at end is a problem right so you can also refer to it so the tax value is can be looking at factor even if they are saying if you have a, one of the prime factor of the value is spread out to or more the prime factor of the value have more than three digits. The part of the factor will be closing parentheses on the display. Right, okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe so that you are informed about new videos. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye.